Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brandon, I'm designer slash gamer. And today, we are continuing to work on the beautiful Star Wars world land in Legoland. Oh my gosh, worlds and lands, you guys know what I'm talking about. So our friend Moimus made some full-size walkers, like the big, big AT, AT, AT? The big giant ones. We're gonna focus more on those in the next stream, but we are going to get at least one place today, but I wanna have a full stream focused on those and also the new region we're gonna be working on, Hoth. The frozen area. Hey Moimus, what's going on? The frozen area, which I've just started to actually build right outside right outside uh, the forest moon of Endor. So I'm trying to kind of blend the biomes together a little bit, because you know, here's the, here's the thinking. This is basically a giant theme park, right? It's basically a giant theme park. So in a theme park, you kind of have to blend areas together without, you know, without it being a totally separate place. So I'll show you guys what I did. And then I did a lot of work on Endor. I added tons of details, tons of trees, and I added a bunch of really cool Ewok huts. So I can't wait to show you guys. How's it going? Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. What's up? What's up? Okay, so why don't we get started? Ready? <sighs> Isn't it beautiful, you guys? <laughs> so the things I've added to the forest moon of Endor other than tons of great detail, more vines, more things like that, are a bunch of customized Ewok huts. So let's go down and check out some of these. So I know I said last time, don't use the props, and I still stand by that. Don't use the props, but I used some props. <laughs> because I really wanted to get this grassy look on the huts, these Ewok huts. So I used a bunch of dried grass props to get that look. So I know I haven't used a ton of props, so it should be fine. But yeah, I try to limit my use of the props. It's better to just use bricks because the props do slow your, your game down a little bit. You like the village? Yay, glad to hear it, Moimus. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So there are some larger and smaller huts spread throughout. Here's a big giant one right here. Is that one bigger? There's one somewhere that, oh, there, this one. This one's huge. This hut right here. Now I put doors on some of them. I don't know how I feel about it. I might take the doors off. But I'm just so used to putting doors like that. But the Lego huts, I mean the Ewok huts don't really have doors. They look kind of more like this. So this is actually the mushroom. It's the mushroom and I customized it to look like a little Ewok hut. So what do you guys think? Looks great. I'm pretty bad at building organic st looking stuff, but you're really great at building mechanical stuff <laughs> and buildings. Speaking of organic, check it out, you guys. Look over there. I spent a ton of time building a barrier, building a barrier between the forest moon of Endor <clears throat> and the next world we're going to work on, Hoth. Now, I know I said Tatooine next, but I kind of changed my mind. So we're gonna work on the frozen planet, Hoth, next. So this is the barrier between Tattoo, or between the forest moon of Endor and Hoth. So basically I made some snow-capped giant hilly mountains. We're gonna add more details to those, but I wanted to get those at least done so that there's some kind of barrier between Endor and Hoth. So check out Hoth, you guys. And like I said earlier, we're going to work on this more in this episode. We're going to get some like landscaping done. Landscaping is really difficult. It is very difficult in a Lego in Lego world. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it is very difficult. It takes a while to do organic things. So we're going to transform this entire area into this frozen planet landscape. And we're going to try to surround it and make it like, you know, like one little area of its own. And then, of course, over here is going to be Tatooine. And what's cool about this, you guys, right next to Tatooine is Area 51. And Area 51 is like all sandy. So this is kind of perfect 
because we can transition from the forest moon of Endor, Hoth, over to like this sandy area for Tatooine, which we're gonna put like right in here. So it's gonna go right up against area 51, be right by the dungeon that our friend Ben built. And it will all fit together really well because we have all that sandy area. So everything is just gonna to flow together so naturally. Okay, you guys, so let me show you. I did so much work. I added so many trees and foresty things and I added pathways in. I changed our pathways to look like the ones that Moimus built. They look much better. Let me spin the sky though, because I can't see anything. And then I'll try to catch up on comments. Uh, could you please make a flat earth with a dome someday? That would be so funny. That would be funny. Um, we might be able to make something like that in the future. No, no guarantees or timelines, but that sounds funny. <laughs> Speaking of flat earth, this whole world is a flat world. So all this landscaping, we've had to do this all completely 100% by hand. All the landscaping you see here is all done by, by Max. Let's change to, actually, let's change to the Stormtrooper. So we're gonna be astronaut with the, with this helmet, and then the storm, or the, what do you call it? The android, the evil robot face. There it is. That's our stormtrooper. And we're gonna walk around a little bit. Let me see if I can find the, I wanna, I wanna fly a little spaceship. There's one, there's one of the classic spaceships that actually look really cool when you're flying it around. Let's go find a pathway. So I changed the pathways. They look much better now, I think. And I even put lights on them because our friend Moimus, our friend Moimus had some really cool lights. There we go. He had some really cool lights along his pathways. And I was like, you know what? That's a great idea. And I even painted them. I think like Moimus had them. There's a lighter color in the middle of the pathway and then a darker color on the outside. And then we have these lights. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm still mad at Rhonda about that. I think we're okay now. I had to restart both computers, but I think we're good now. <laughs> welcome back to the forest moon of Endor. All right, let's get some building done. Sorry, guys. Sometimes things just don't wanna work. <laughs> they usually work, but every once in a while, things just don't wanna work. So hopefully now it's going to work okay. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this uh, Imperial shuttle. Where is it? Oh, we're way over here. Let's get rid of the Imperial shuttle that's over here and we're gonna build that giant, wow, we're going fast. We're gonna build that giant platform. Where's the Imperial shuttle that I wanna get rid of? Over here, here we go. This Star Wars world is gonna be absolutely huge. It's probably gonna take up like, not, not quite a quarter, but maybe like a, no. Maybe like a seventh of Bricksburg. It's pretty massive and we only have two worlds, two land, one land built so far. So yeah, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be ginormous. All right, let's get rid of the shuttle. Let's get rid of the shuttle. Oh, I think that, I think I need to fix the chat. I'm not seeing your chat messages, you guys. Let me fix the chat. YouTube. Ugh. Since I started a new stream, now I have a new chat to do. Dun, 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 dun. Can it even change the thumbnail? Okay, I gotta fix that. There's the chat. Okay. Pop out chat. Copy. Sorry, let me just get the chat in here. Okay. Tools. Where's my chat? There it is. Okay. I gotta talk to you guys. <gasps> there it is! Yay! Hi, everybody. I can see you now. <laughs> What's up? Okay, let's get rid of this. Is that all of it? That's all of it, right? Oh, there's more. Little Imperial Finn up there. Okay, now, now we can build. Let's build our awesome friend Link Remasters um, thing here. So let's type in Link. Should come up. That's the, where's the big one? Satellite tower. I 
I know I added it. Let me type in Star Wars. Ah. Look at the walker. Okay, we're going to add that too. Don't get too excited, you guys. Um, Where is it? I know I added it. Satellite tower. Where's the big one? There, there it is. Bigger shield generator. But then we need the... <gasps> wow. And then we just have to put... We have to put more of those. That one. Right? Yes, that's definitely bigger than that one. Cool. So we'll just have to stack more of that. What's that one called? Probably just this one, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're good. We're going to make it nice and tall. I want it to be like almost as tall as one of the Ewok trees. Not quite as tall as that, but bigger than the other one. So let's drop this down. Try and connect that. Are we connected? Connected? Yeah. Cool. All right, let's, let's do like two of these. That'll be pretty tall. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. And now, now for the topper. Just had it. What did I do with it? There it is. Bigger shield generator. Oh my gosh, it's huge. It's huge. It's perfect though. We need a nice giant shield generator. Is that right? Yes. Oh, wow, look at that. So we got a mini one and a tall one and one that's like about half the size of the of the Ewok trees. I think that looks nice. Hi, Victor. Yeah, you can't download models on Switch. I wish they did make that possible, but you can only download models on PC, unfortunately. Maybe someday you guys will get a Lego game where Hey, okay, here you want to hear about my like wish, my wish. If, if I could pick any game, if, if I could make, if I could make my own Lego game, this is what I would include. It would be like Lego Worlds, but there'd be more story, right? But there would also be like a showcase where you could upload your own models to the showcase and download other people's models, and it would be cross-platform. It would be multiplayer. And then people could just make, Lego wouldn't even have to make, or whoever makes the game, TT Games, they wouldn't even have to make all these models. They could just make it available so people can do it. And then people would just make the models and upload them to the showcase. How incredible would that be? Yeah, like the one I talked about for my April Fool's video a couple years ago. <laughs> like that one. Okay, are you guys ready to build a walker? First, we should spin the sky though. This is gonna be kind of dark. So let's spin the sky. Actually, let's, let's switch back to our regular outfit here, this one. And then we're going to spin the sky. Where is it? Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. Spin the sky. Looks great. Too bad there aren't hinges in Lego worlds. It would be great to have. Oh my gosh, wouldn't it? Okay. So in that, in that dream game, <laughs> in that dream Lego game, we would have hinges and we'd have the ability to rotate, you know, like at least 45 degrees. I wouldn't have to do like other increments, but I would at least want 45 degree rotation. Okay, ready? Let's build the walker, the AT, AT, AT from our friend Moimus. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> I mean, I saw pictures that he posted on Discord, but I have not actually seen it. Oh, look at his little feet. Oh, oh my gosh. So he's going to, he's getting on the thumbnail for the next episode. What I wanted, I wanted to do it for this episode, but I didn't have time. I want to put the walker into the Hoth area with some more backdrop mountains and stuff. And we'll get some of these on the thumbnail for next week. Okay. Where are we going to put this thing? Do you guys think it would just be like lurking somewhere in the forest here? Or would it be like right here? There's a nice open space here. What do you guys think? 
Is this too close to the Ewok trees, though? Or should we put it further away? It's right? It's super cool. Our friend Moimus here in the chat made this. So be sure you guys uh, be sure you guys subscribe to him on YouTube. He's an extremely talented master builder. And a lot of his work is featured here in Bricksburg. Where should I put it? I mean, I think it would be pretty cool here. We're going to turn on overlap so we can get it Yeah. So his feet touch the ground. <laughs> Look how mean it looks. His little red eyes. And the guns on the front. This is some masterful work. Some super masterful, impressive work, my friends. Put the walker near the platform. We could do that. Hey, this might be oh can we do two is that too many let's do one there and then where's the platform over here we'll do one over here i mean can you really ever have too many walkers where would it be like walking back here would it be like lurking back here in the forest like that or should we put it like under Oh, there's the other one there, though, the ATST. So we can either put it here, closer to the path, or back in here, kind of tucked into the forest a little bit, maybe facing this way. What do you guys think about that? That location. The original at, -AT doesn't have red eyes, but it looks so much cooler with glowing eyes. Yeah, I agree. I think you can take some creative liberties. We'll have to spin the sky and see what it looks like at night with those red glowing eyes. I'm gonna post all my Star Wars models on Bricksafe. Nice. Yeah, I think we have a we have a link to Moimus's Bricksafe on Discord, and also I think your channel features links on your videos to Bricksafe. By the bigger platform. So maybe we put it like here. What do you think about that? Right in there. So you guys vote either right side or left side. This is left side. And then this is going to be right side. You guys tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I'm good with either side. Armando says left side. That's one vote for left. By Moimus's big shuttle platform. Oh, you mean like... Maybe we'll do another one over there. Let's do three. That's not too many, right? Okay, so we're going to do one here. We're going to do one here. And then we'll do one more. We'll do one more back here. And then we'll put all the rest of these in Hoth. Where is it? Over here. So you're talking about in this area. <laughs> so right as you enter... Right as you enter this area. I kind of want to put one by the... F mm. Okay, not out here. We're going to tuck him in here somewhere. But I also really want to put one right outside the entrance. What do you guys think about this? It's going to be like right under the Death Star, though. That's a pretty decent spot for it. Maybe it's a little clutter right there with the Death Star, too, though. It could also... Well, there's not really enough space back there. And then one voted for left side, pretty much. Okay. Moose says, DSG Star, I haven't turned in... Tuned in for a while. That's okay. You like the Endor? Good. 
Got an idea for Hoth. Recreate the assault on Echo Base. Oh. Oh. That's a really good idea. You know what? And we've never actually recreated a scene before. That'd be the first time we've like created a scene. Like we've, you know, we have we have landscapes and stuff and places. But we've never actually tried to recreate a scene. I really like that idea. I like that idea. Okay, let's see what it looks like here. Okay. So basically, when you come into Star Wars land, when you enter Star Wars land, you're going to be greeted with a giant walker, a little gunner thing, and then the platforms, little pathways and ships. Is that a good spot for it? Let's actually change. I should just like stay the vampire because I want to be able to fly around and I have to keep changing characters. Okay. So when we're all done with this, you guys, I'm going to create some cinematics and I thought about even doing no guarantees, but I thought about doing like a 10, like a short 10 minute, like Star Wars, like a fully edited, like a story, like a 10 minute, like a short story in these places, you know, like one of my character videos with, with the dialogue and stuff, but no guarantees. At the very least, I'm going to create like fly throughs so you can see all the cool stuff we've built. So we'll have that at the very least, but I just might have time to create a story thing. Darth Sheila. <laughs> yeah, I want it to be a crossover for sure. Look at the alligator. I forgot he was right here. I want it to be a crossover. So some kind of crossover. And I thought about maybe using the, um, for the Wookiee, using the uh, Bigfoot character, you know? Like some crossovers. Maybe Rosie could be C-3PO or something. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of work. I might even be able to fit it into... Uh, well, anyway. That's the idea. Okay. I want to build one more walker out here. Because we have a shuttle, and we have a platform, and we have a little ATST. So maybe we put one of the other ATATs. Forgot about him right there. <laughs> put one of those over here. Where are we gonna put it though? It is getting a little crowded in here. Maybe we tuck it back over here somewhere. So it's like one of those things where if you see it, oh, if you don't see it, then oh. Rosie would be more R2 than 3PO. Yeah, but Rosie's very snarky. And C3PO is pretty snarky. So it just seems like maybe that character would fit a little better. But yeah, we'll have to I'll have to think about what to do with that. Okay, so let's build. Let's build another one of these AT-ATs over here. And then we're going to do a, new, a flyover of Hoth. Oh, uh, I wanted to be like in here. So if you see him, you see him. If you don't see him, you don't see him. You know, it's like one of those like, like an Easter egg. Star Wars Easter egg. Just sort of hidden back here. Let's bring him up a little bit so the little feet don't get smashed in the soil. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> I want to see what this looks like at night. Those eyes. Okay, let's transform to the bat. The walker. Oh. <gasps> the glowing red eyes. It's beautiful. <laughs> You would not want to be walking around out in the middle of nowhere and see one of these coming towards you. Absolutely not. Max Skywalker. <laughs> oh, you guys have some good ideas. Just the Imperial Star Destroyer because I am doing the build res resurgent class Star Destroyer. Final order. Wow. Cool. Darth Giselle. <laughs> Oh, dang it. You guys have some really good ideas. Oh, I pretty much have to do it now. But before that, I got to get, I got to do the next episode of Lego Worlds because you guys made some cool versions of Ivory City and I want to show those off. 
Why not use some X wings? Yeah. Um, I think our friend Coles. Did he make some X wings? He made a Star Destroyer. I gotta go to his brick safe and download those. But he made some pretty cool stuff. So we'll have to see. But that looks so cool back there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna. Oh, look at the blue glow from the shuttle back. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let me spin this guy really quick and then we're gonna fly over to Hoff and we're gonna get a little bit of uh, landscaping done. I'm gonna show you guys my technique for making those little mountainy hill things. All right. Landscaping is a pain, but you gotta do it. Okay, uh, sky spinner. Sky spinner. Cool, all right, let's put it away. And then be the bat again. So when you're coming to Legoland here, right? You're going up to the gates. On the right side, you see Star Wars land. And it gets you really excited to go into Legoland. Because you're like, ooh, what's all that? There's a whole Star Wars land back there. My brother loves your vids, by the way. Yeah? I'll tell your brother thank you for watching the vids. Square foot would be the perfect chewy. Yes, square foot, for sure. Yeah, you know, we could make a pretty cool crossover. Who would Agent Chase be? And if we don't use Rosie for, for R2, I wonder who else we could use. Well, we have Devin the Droid, but we didn't really develop his character very much. Do we have any other robots? That looks amazing. So you might just like park your car in the parking lot, ready, uh, getting ready to go into uh, Legoland. And you just might see out of the corner of your eye, the ATAT -AT over there. You're like, oh, oh, oh no. Agent Chase could be Han Solo. Okay, I like that. That's a good idea. Two of you guys said that. Yeah, who would Agent, uh, Agent Trace would be Leia? <laughs> Or would Sheila be Leia? I'm gonna have to figure this out because this sounds really exciting. The only problem I'm gonna run into though is customizing the, uh, figuring out how to customize the characters so that I can still make them kind of look like that. Oh, and the voices. Sheila doesn't have a voice, that'll be easy. Okay, let's go to Hoth. And we're gonna get some landscaping done. Because we got about 15 minutes left in the stream. The good thing is I've had so much time lately. All right. I don't have time. But I've made so much time lately to get stuff done. So we've made incredible progress on uh, the forest moon of Endor. And we're ready to move on to Hoth. All right. So see these cool mountains right here? This is going to divide. These divide our two little portions. So let me show you guys how I made these. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty obvious, especially if you've built in Lego worlds before, but in case you're somewhat new to the building system, I know you guys have asked for like step-by-step -step things before, so I'm gonna show you how I made these. Um, okay, let's unbat ourselves here and let's take out the building tools. The other thing I wanna do too is sculpt some of this landscape. So actually, let's do that really quick. So sculpting, we're gonna change the shape of this to a sphere. And we're going to sculpt a little bit, little bit of this out. We're going to have to repaint it probably, but I want to have some craters. You want to make them like kind of irregular. You don't want them to be like too regular. So the best thing to do for this is to like vary your heights and try to make shapes that are not like perfect, you know, geometric circles or something. That way you have some nice little craters. We could actually fill that in with ice. That could be cool. Go up a little bit here. Try and make some geometric shapes. So sculpting is just a really great way to make some of these, some of these uh, organic looking shapes. Okay, so now we have that. So now we can fill this in with snow. And as always, if you guys have ideas or different methods for building, let me know in the chat. 
Asimo says, hey bro, how are you? I'm doing great. How about you? I look like Mario. <laughs> oh no, I'm just a plumber. It's a me, Mario. I will take that as a compliment. <laughs> so that's something you could do. You know, you know, you don't want it to be like all flat, of course, because that's you don't you don't have like a totally flat planet. You have like Hoth is going to be like cliffs and jagged edges. Oh, the other thing I did too is I took the um. Look through your uh, look through your brick your brick builds, you guys, because I found I found these volcanic these things, the volcanic spikes, and of course you have to paint them. You have to paint them, but it's a great way to uh, add. I think I use this small one. It's a great way to add some extra, um, you know, some extra cool jaggedy edges somewhere. Maybe I want to like throw it in here. Uh, I, actually, I kind of like the way that looks on that side. But yeah, I used a bunch of different like models to get these effects. And some of them I use like the cloud models too, because you can use the cloud models. So maybe we want some jagged edges along here. You know, just like some spikes just sticking out. Like that. Oh, geez. Not like that. <laughs> Turn off overlap. <laughs> like that. And then maybe you like stack a couple of them. Jagged edges along the rocks. Try not to do too many though, because you want it to look organic. And I'm gonna give it like that. It's like, oh, look at those jagged spikes. It's like sticking out of the rock face and they're so dangerous and cool. Okay, are those sticking out the back? Oh, that one did. Oops. Oh, well. You can't really see it. Yeah. Anyway. So then now, look at that. That's cool. So now we're going to paint that. So it looks like it's part of the landscape. Beautiful. And we could even paint. I wonder what it would look like to make, make some of them, like, ice colored. Let's try that. Whoa. That's cool. All right. Let's make some of them ice colored. Are you still building Ivory City? Yes. I spent about four hours last week building the tower area around the tower. So we will, after we like deal with the Star Wars stuff, we'll get back in there. So Ivory City is still happening. It's just, there's so much happening, but yes. And it's amazing. The new Ivory Tower is incredible. I think I showed it off on the anniversary stream. Yes, I did. So watch the anniversary stream that I posted last week and you'll see the new ivory tower, the new ivory city location. My day is going great so far. How about you, Victor? You can probably copy some landscape details from the snowy biomes. Totally. That's a good idea. Maybe we should go to one and do that. Okay, so if I want like one of these spikes to be ice let's see what happens oh that's kind of cool just like the tip is ice Ooh, i like that <laughs> that's cool these horrible giant ice spikies i like the way that looks let me make the little smaller because i want to get just the just the edges here Oh, that's cool. Hoth is so dangerous. Hey, Shadow, what's up? I'm a very big fan of Star Wars. Yeah? Awesome. I love Star Wars. I am not very good at Star Wars trivia. I've seen all the movies. Mandalorian. I love the... I love it. I'm just not like a... I will definitely mispronounce some things and get some details wrong for sure. But that's why we have you guys here. That looks really cool. So if you also want to, too, if it's a little jagged... You can smooth some edges out. You know, maybe you want it to blend a little better. Like we could do something like that. Just smooth it out a little bit. Of course, then it kind of messed it up. So no, just kidding. We don't want to do that. <laughs> totally mess it up. So yeah, be careful about how you smooth things out. But that looks good. I like that. There's some nice spikies. Okay, now for these, here's what I did. I did raise and lower. I made this really big and then I turned, well, yeah, you don't choose the tool. So your raise and lower tool is a really effective tool and it will go faster or slower depending on 
the surface that it's next to. Let me show you what I mean. So to create these really cool uh, mountains that divide our worlds here, here's what I did. You go right to the edge here and notice how it's like the green part is smaller. When you get closer to an edge, your green part starts to go up. And that means that when you start, when you start doing, when you start clicking, it's going to go faster or slower depending on how high, how high that little green part is. So as you get closer to a structure you've already built, it's going to start to go really fast. So you can actually do this pretty quickly. And as long as you constantly move around and change positions, you can make it really nice and organic. So try not to make the spikes too tall in any area. Just move around. And if you paint the ground ahead of time, then you can have your your uh, mountain sort of pre-painted. It does take forever. <laughs> but, but it has a really nice organic look to it when you're all done with it. Ice skating rink, that's a good idea. <laughs> An ice skating rink in Hoth. So I'm gonna have to look into the recreating that scene. I really like that idea. Our friend Moimus here had an idea of recreating one of the battle scenes in Hoth. And I think that's a, a excellent idea. You guys see that down there? Those are the clouds right there. I took some of the clouds and put those in to soften the edges. Okay, let's spin this guy because it gets super, super dark. Let's spin this guy. Which, what, what did you call the battle scene again that you want to? I love that idea. Have you ever seen the Bricksburg Hotel? It's fantastic. Oh. No, I don't think I have seen it. It can't be as cool as Hotel Ivory, though. <laughs> Can you make a playlist where it's only Ivory City? I think the first, well, I can, okay. So the first, so let's play Lego world season one is mostly ivory city. There's maybe like five episodes or six episodes that are not in ivory city, but most of those are, most of those are pretty much, but you're saying a new playlist. Um, yeah. So Sheila's Lego world is pretty much all just ivory city. And there's only two episodes so far in that one, but. Um, my channel, I want to build the Jurassic World. Ooh, yeah. You're Italian. Oh, okay. Buongiorno. <laughs> I am part Italian, also. My grandmother was, uh, well, Sicilian. Not not the same, but... I mean, it, Italian, right? Yeah, it's a different kind of Italian, but Sicilian. Anyway. <laughs> I don't speak Italian, but I know buongiorno. I love Italian food. Um, yeah, so we did build part of Jurassic World. And actually, if you want to download this world, we moved Jurassic World to Bricksburg. So it's here in Bricksburg. So you can check it out. Okay. So let's now that we spin the sky, spun the sky, let's build a few more mountains. Because we have to make a nice, pretty good solid border here between... Uh, between Endor, the forest moon of Endor, and uh, Hoth. I might even want to make another row of these on the on the icy side so we have even taller, but I don't know how tall it has to be. I think it looks pretty good in this height, though. Because then you have the jungly side on, over here and then the icy side over here. So I think it's a pretty good pretty good transition or barrier rather you're making me want to play lego worlds i have not played it in years and you just make me want to play it so bad play it <laughs> i know it's one of those games where yeah it's it's a pretty much a dead game you know so i don't even play it anymore just to play it i play it to build because you can still you can still build some pretty incredible things in the game and there's still an audience out there you guys that want to see it so we're gonna keep doing it because we, we still have stuff to build for sure 
All right, then let me show you how I snow capped that mountain. As soon as we get some more of this in here. Try to constantly move your cursor around so you're creating so you're creating some nice uh, some nice variation. And then you can just sort of move around constantly along the edge to get that to even blend a little bit. Okay, and then when you're ready to paint the tops for the snow cap look, click on snow and then make sure you have the soft brush. And then you want to select just the top of the peak. So we'll make it a little bigger. Just the top of the peak and then you do that. And then you get a nice like soft snow snow capping effect on your little hills. And what would make them look even better is if you can add some detail, some jungly detail, like some jungle trees and stuff. Add those to the outside because, you know, right now it's just sort of like a movie backdrop background. So I would just add like more vines and plants and stuff in here. And then we get some extra detail. Okay, so, so. What we'll do in the next episode, you guys, we will, I will do some research ahead of time and we'll figure out how to set up this battle. And in the next episode, we, we're going to place some walkers in here and we're going to try to recreate, we're going to try to recreate that battle scene out here. And then we'll probably finish, we'll probably finish in this area after two or three episodes and then we'll move over to Tatooine in the desert area. Bona sera. Does that mean good evening? Yeah, I hope they make a Lego Worlds too. I agree. You're going to start watching my ivory vids. Oh, you haven't seen them yet? There's a lot to watch. <laughs> There's a lot. So, why don't we do a quick little overview really quick before we end the stream of all the cool stuff we did today. I love Endor so much. Looks so good. Okay, then we need to change. We need to... Uh, let's spin this guy again really quick so it doesn't turn into night while we're doing a little tour here. And we're going to do a quick tour and we're going to end the stream there. All right. Sky Spinner. I was so happy when they introduced the Sky Spinner. I was like, this is so great. I don't know what we would do without it, honestly. Because <laughs> when I was filming videos before, I had to always like close it and go back in just to get day to come back. Okay, so today we worked on the forest moon of Endor and we added some beautiful walkers made by our friend Moimus here. And we also added a much larger version of this tower back in there. We'll go over to it. We're going to zoom through Legoland here. Turn up the music a tiny bit. This music is nice. And then here is the entrance. Still working out what to do with that. New pathways. New beautiful pathways. Our giant scary walker here. The landing pads. Oh my gosh, you guys. This project is crazy. <laughs> We've done so much. We have the Imperial Outposts. And then, of course, we have the uh, Ewok Village. Complete with all the little huts. Many platforms. All the little vineys. Ooh, that's a good... That's a good thing. That angle is a nice thumbnail because you can see all the huts. Tons of Ewok huts. Lots of pathways for them to go around and hang out with each other. Then we added some more ATATs over here. And then the larger platform back here. Pretty sure this is my favorite part of Bricksburg now. <laughs> it's incredible. 
And then right over here, you guys, is Area 51. And we're going to be... We're going to be creating Tatooine. Over here. Right next to Area 51. So it'll just, like, meld into the desert. It'll be perfect. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for hanging out today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big fat thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Gosh, I love this. <laughs> did you guys see that? All right, Sheila's gonna turn on her TV. Let's see what's on here. Oh, look at your favorite show. Lego man being chased by an ostrich. Wonder what's going on this season. He's still, oh, still getting chased by that ostrich. <laughs> All right, Sheila, you hungry? Let's make some breakfast. All right, what do we got in the fridge here? Let's see, what do we got, what do we got? We got, because we got sausage, we got uh, chicken leg, got apples. All right, let's make a sausage, chicken leg, and apple pie. Okay, here we go, getting that started. And then let's get out some of our sausage seasoning. Okay, excellent. Now we need some uh, some uh, pineapples, got that. Warning, gyrosphere, malfunction, imminent. You guys, we caught Lady Meowington red-handed, chasing around a toad. I knew it. I knew when we couldn't find her in the ivory tower, she was down doing shady stuff. All right, you guys, let's turn on a Christmas movie. Let's see, what, what's on here? What do we got? Someone oh, you guys, I love this movie.
we interrupt this special Christmas broadcast to bring you terrible news. Santa Claus has been attacked in the North Pole by an evil robot. And so, Christmas has been canceled. Hey buddy, uh, can you help us strap the uh, Christmas tree to the Pugsy? Can you help us do that? Oh, you can, okay, good. Uh, oh, we need some giant zip ties, okay. I think we've got some in the rocket somewhere. Um, okay, so, oh, you're not gonna, you're just gonna sit there while Sheila does it and have your hot chocolate? <gasps> okay, I guess we'll find the zip ties and let's uh, see if we can tie this uh, tree this Christmas tree to the Pugsy, and then we'll take off. Um, Mr. Broccoli? Uh, Mr. Broccoli? Uh, are you there? <laughs> so it looks like she got a jack-o'-lantern mailbox. <laughs> We've got a cauldron here. You guys, she put all these cool bats. Look at these. <laughs> oh my gosh. And there's spiders. Wow, this is pretty great. Lady Meowington went like all out. <laughs> Look at these scary spiders. Oh my gosh. You guys, I love Halloween. It's so much fun. Ooh. Piper? Oh, you guys, these must have scared Piper away. <gasps> Ooh. This is terrifying. Absolutely.